This next story is pretty funny. The government is kind of waving the flag in at least one way when it comes to the issue of potheads. Because potheads can apparently do certain kinds of jobs that they need them to do. Okay, so the government's going, mm, we're not going to crack down on you so much anymore because, quote, the FBI is starting to seriously rethink its zero-tolerance policy on marijuana. On Monday, FBI Director James Comey admitted that as fighting cybercrime has become a bigger priority for the Bureau, they are finding it harder and harder to hire top computer programmers who do not also smoke weed. Hmm, interesting. Funny how uh, now the old stereotype, the idea of pot smokers as lazy, good-for-nothing idiots who fucking waste time all day and were stinky motherfuckers, not totally true. <laughs> Turns out a lot of people who are smoking weed constantly are people who are really intuitive and inquisitive. They think a lot, they know a lot, and uh, they're really fucking good with computers. Fascinating. So Comey reportedly said the FBI is, quote, grappling with the question right now of how to amend its marijuana policy to allow for agents who regularly use the drug. I love that. So they're not even saying, okay, we'll allow some people in here who might use it every once in a while. No, he's like, yeah, we might have to let people, like, smoke blunts on their coffee breaks. Because the more you smoke, apparently the better you are with computers. Ugh. That's so great. So as it stands right now, if you, you you used marijuana in the last three years, you're out. So many people use marijuana, you know, have used marijuana within the last three years and don't smoke it regularly or... Again, even if they do, it's really not a fucking big deal, and they're finally realizing it now because they need them. And here's my favorite part. Quote, I have to hire a great workforce to compete with those cyber criminals, and some of those kids want to smoke weed on the way to the interview. When someone asked about a friend who had not applied to the FBI due to the policy, Comey said, quote, he should go ahead and apply. Waving the white flag, man. Wave that white flag. I mean, the only really annoying part about this is that there's a massive double standard. So if you smoke weed and you're unemployed, they'll still lock you up, you know? You smoke weed and you're from the hood and your name's Jamal, they're probably going to lock you up. Um, you smoke weed and you go to school, you smoke weed, you get caught by... Uh, your job in the private sector. I mean, the list goes on and on. You sell it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In those cases, if you're not in Colorado or Washington, we're going to lock you up. I mean, we did the story the other day that uh, people who were growing medical marijuana and had a license are now being um, charged by the feds. They were in total compliance with their state laws, and the feds were like, yeah, fuck you, we don't like you. We're going we're gonna to charge you. The fact that we could have one part of the government putting people in jail, sometimes up to life, for minor drug issues. Like with, uh, we just did the story yesterday with the guy who baked pot brownies and the way the law works in Texas, they measured the amount of the drug based on how much the batch of brownies weigh. So all the sugar, all the cocoa, everything, all the ingredients. So they're like, well, that's enough to put you in jail possibly for life. So they're charging him with that. Oh my, the fact that you could have uh, some aspects of the government be on that page, that no, we're going to fucking flat out ruin your life because you enjoy a substance that we don't approve of. And then other parts of the government say, mm, no, we need you. God, that's fucked up, man. It's so fucked up. And just to demonstrate how fucked up it is, again, imagine if it was a different substance that they, that they were doing this with. You know, that in Vermont, they're locking people up for drinking Monster Energies and Red Bull. But in Connecticut, they really want those people to help be teachers because they they have so much energy and they get so much done. That's kind of like the situation that we're looking at right now with this. I think the answer is, let's at the very least decriminalize it on a federal level. At the very least decriminalize it. I would be in favor of le legalizing on a federal level. And actually embracing the idea of freedom 
what could be more free than putting in your body whatever you want to as long as you're not hurting anybody else instead of these politicians just using it as a buzzword to get elected.